As automotive technology advances, the demand for autonomous, connected, and electrified solutions continues to rise. However, this also leads to escalating cost pressures. As suppliers seek out ways to reduce costs and save critical space in applications, this video will demonstrate how a two-layer PCB can be optimized for thermal and EMC requirements. Four-layer layouts offer flexibility and performance, but also increase costs. A two-layer PCB layout is more cost-effective, but it can have poor thermal characteristics, which leads to compromised performance. Let's take a look at how an optimized two-layer PCB design can perform well in harsh environments and pass EMI tests for CISPR Class 5 and OEM limits with sufficient margin. Typically, the number of layers depends on the PCB space and the number of components, and DC switching power supplies require careful component placement to meet EMC and thermal requirements. We tested nine two-layer PCB layouts to see the effect of different layout implementations on thermal and EMI performance. All of these layouts feature the MPQ4323-AEC1 from MPS, a compact, low quiescent current, synchronous step-down converter. Based on the results of these tests, the recommended layout runs 6 degrees Celsius colder than the traditional layout, all without using extra parts or a larger board space. When designing a two-layer automotive PCB, it's important to keep in mind that the layer the IC is mounted on, here assumed to be the top layer, will offer the best cooling capability compared to the other layer that is connected through VS. To optimize the thermal dissipation of the board, both layers are used and we focused on improving the cooling capability of the bottom layer. The recommended layout has a solid top, bottom ground plane, and a large, Y-shaped V and polygon to dissipate heat into the ambient air. The lead frame, which is the connecting mesh between the die and the IC pins, is internally soldered to the die for effective heat flow. The top layer should have a direct copper connection to the IC pins for optimal heat flow, as heat distributes more evenly in copper. Next, we use vias to connect the top and bottom layer ground planes and use them as effective heat sinks. Vias placed between the top and bottom ground layers have more effective heat flow when placed closer to a power pin. It is recommended to place vias in the hotter locations, but important to not place too many vias next to each other. Too many holes can hinder the heat flow on the top layer due to the lack of copper. Simulation software can come in handy to optimize the via placement. The power pins, the N, P ground, and SW are the most effective pins to transfer heat into the PCB because they are directly connected to the high side and low side MOSFETs. The N and P ground should have large copper areas to cool the device. The inductor acts as another effective heatsink. Place the inductor as close as possible to pin 12 for optimal heat flow, keeping in mind that the switching node on pin 12 must have a small surface area. There are only three traces between both layers. These traces are fully encapsulated in the bottom ground layer, which shields them against EMC. The VL trace between C13 and R4 should be routed away from the switching node to improve immunity. The most sensitive trace is between R6 and the feedback, Route this trace on the top layer and keep it as short as possible. Ensure that there is a large, uninterrupted ground plane under the IC. Cutting a ground plane increases its impedance to high frequency energy. An intact ground plane is the basis for good EMC and circuit performance. The MPQ4323 can achieve full load operation under ambient temperatures that are approximately 100 degrees Celsius when operating at 400 kHz and approximately 80 degrees Celsius when operating at 2.2 MHz when given a sufficient copper area for dissipation. This excellent performance is a result of optimized PCB layout and MPS's advanced package technology, which allows for more heat to flow into the PCB. Our tests show that the best PCB for thermal performance is also the best for EMI, and that a two-layer PCB can pass automotive EMC requirements while keeping the thermal rise low. This evidence demonstrates the benefits of a well-designed PCB for automotive applications. Findings from these tests reveal that the recommended, thermally optimized PCB layout runs 6 degrees Celsius colder than a traditional layout without using extra parts or a larger board space. With these optimization methods and efficient components, automotive electronics suppliers can effectively reduce design costs and produce high-quality, reliable products for consumers. To learn more about these solutions or our other automotive qualified products, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.